All right, gents, we've got Cav, David Kavanagh, or Cav as he prefers, on the Zoom, uh, and he's about to give us a good testimonial, I hope. Um, over to you, Cav. How did you get on? Just finished your 12, 16 weeks we did, didn't we? Yeah, we did 16 weeks altogether. Yeah, um, uh, it was great, Gav. You know, as you know, I was following you on LinkedIn for a little while anyway. Um, love the humour, love the down to earth bit. Um, you know, particularly the bits about, you know, do you want to lose 30 pounds before Christmas, the week before Christmas? Well, I'm sorry, people, it's not going to happen. So let's take a reality <laughs> check on that. Um, yeah, but I, I had a blood test just before Christmas. I was feeling worn out, a bit exhausted, just wanted to make sure there was nothing untoward. Um, everything was fine apart from I was pre-diabetic and high cholesterol, which for you know a bloke who's reasonably active did come as a bit of a shock. And we thought yeah. we'd need to do something about it. So there was the perfect segue. Um, George, your good self, got on it, started tracking the um the macros, the fat, the carbs, and the protein. And it's been a journey. Yeah, it, it's a process. It has taken 16 weeks. I did have a target weight in mind. Um, but the most important thing was, for me, um, was reversing that pre-diabetic situation and yeah. smashing cholesterol down to a safe level. Going to a pair of trolleys I've not been able to wear for, excuse me, 10 years, dinner jacket, you know, we're going to um, uh, friends, wedding celebration, all of that good stuff, um, you know, general praise. So it's it's fantastic. What was the actual number on the scales? So for you, uh, when, when did you start and what did you get down to? 85.7 down to 77.1 in a new language, but it was, um, yeah, 16 and a half pounds. Fantastic. Are you pleased with that? Yeah, over the moon, over the moon. Absolutely. And as you said, for you, it was, it was just, it was the weight loss was a byproduct, but the main was getting rid of that pre-diabetic -di level in your, in your blood and obviously the cholesterol. And both of them have come down to an acceptable level now, I think. Yeah, yeah. And even for a, you know, um, relatively reserved GP to say these are incredibly impressive results on a, on a text was, yeah, that was great. It was really good. So, I, I mean, to me, the two things go hand in hand, but I've now learned to, a kind of a sustainable regime, um, you know, because I did have a friend said, oh, what diet is this? And I said, well, it's not a diet. He said, well, why is it not a diet? And I said, well, it hasn't been endorsed by a Hollywood um, celebrity. <laughs> You're a celebrity in your own right, obviously, but we'll leave that to one side. Um, it doesn't make you miserable um, and um, it's sustainable. And you know, that for me is the fundamental difference. So, you know, um, emphasizing the other thing, Gav, is it's not an overnight fix. And when you've been, I wouldn't say piling on the pounds because I've never considered myself to be massively overweight, um, but it's it's easy put on and it, it does take time. But I can say 100% the process works. You've just got to follow it, be disciplined and, you know, um, do it that way. Straightforward. Awesome. That's just fantastic. What was um what was the most enjoyable part of the, the process, the 16 weeks? As you said, you, you know, you didn't feel like you were on a diet. Um, but it is kind of boring. I, I, people are going to say, why are you saying that on your own testimonial video? Because here's the reality, folks. Fat loss is very slow, monotonous, doing the same things over and over. And anyone that says anything different is lying to you. So I always tell people the truth. But yeah. what, um, what part of the 16 weeks, because, you know, there's three or four elements that we put together. What was the most enjoyable part and what made you sort of show up every single week and get the result that you wanted? Yeah. So apart from the weekly calls, which are, you know, great insight and you get everyone cheered along. And, you know, when you're starting, you can listen to people who are 10, 12 weeks in, um, you know, and, and, and some of your clients who are seriously overweight, um, you know, with with big BMIs and see those things come tumbling down. So that that was great. But actually, you know, the first time you step on the scales, um, you got your MyFitnessPal loaded in, you, you started tracking stuff. Um was the the eye opener, and then you can see, oh, actually, yeah, if I've got a calorie count, so you sent me seventeen hundred kilos with specific targets and macros, you see straight away um, it's the transparency. And then, hey, bingo! I think the first week I weighed myself, would would clip nearly half a kilo off, and then it went on. You know, we talked about the impact of um, yeah. water in your body as well. So there were some real low water marks where. Um, you know, it could change by a couple of kilos, but it came down, I think, with the exception, because we did have, we had Christmas in the way. I started Boxing Day, so New Year, beg your pardon, New Year in the way. Um, and then a massive celebration at the end of January. Uh, but don't do it daily, 1,700 
calories, do it by the week. That's your bank account. You can go over for a couple of days, but then you just need to throttle it back. And it's you can feel it in your, I certainly could, belt, belt notches, trousers, those sorts of things. You know when you pigged it. Um, and then it's your choice whether you carry on pigging or whether you you throttle back a bit. Yeah, it's um, it's really quite simple once you know how, like anything, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And just the last thing, because, you know, it's um, it's so good that you've got this result. What would I have a lot of these conversations in, in our initial conversation? I probably have three or four of those every week. And sometimes one or two people will join, sometimes none. Um. And I know very often it's their own self-limiting beliefs that stop people joining. Um, but what would you say? What would you say to them that someone that was thinking about doing it? And when I mean self-limiting beliefs, so many people have tried so many things before, and it's they failed or it's not worked. So they were already coming into the conversation thinking, "Why would this be any different?" So my job really is that to not not just convince them to try and make them see that if they actually followed the steps in this program, they would get the results. So that's the hardest part of my job, really. Mm. So what would you say is one piece of advice to someone that was potentially going to join but was scared that it wasn't going to work for them? What would you say to them? Uh, you know, have faith. And if such a thing existed, have you ever seen any of the uh, the Men in Black um, film franchises where they've got the thing that can, you know, just delete people's memories and past experience. Imagine you're taking one of those, wipe the slate clean and, you know, forget words like diet, misery, not sustainable. Um, but set the right expectation as, as well, Gav. So it's a, it, it's a choice at the end of the day whether you want to do something about it. Uh, but I think the 12 to 16 week is regime. Get in the calls, be inspired by other people. Um, I, I didn't need that level of motivation. I must have been. I'm motivated anyway, but I had that kind of health yeah. kick anyway. So for me, it was an easier journey. But I'd say if you want to lose weight um, and you're serious about it and you're prepared to, I think pay attention is is the key thing because it is that that side of it, it it's not miserable, but it's necessary. And you need to be granular. You need to pay attention. You need to log those, um, you know, your calories and your macros religiously you know, down to a granular level. You've got to do it every day, but I guarantee you do that and you will see results. It really is that simple, isn't it? So, well, look, Cam, appreciate um, appreciate your time. I know you're a busy man. Uh, thank you for, one, following the programme, two, showing up every week. I think you missed one call out of the whole yeah. 16, and that was out of your control. Um, so I thank you for being a great client. Uh, we're going to miss you in the group, my friend. Um, thanks for showing up. I uh, appreciate that. And um, thanks a lot, Cap. All the best. Anytime. Best of luck with it.